<laughs> hey Sam fam, it's Rebecca and I know it's kind of weird because I'm in a kitchen but today I'm going to be doing a video that I am so excited about. It's something I have been dying to do and I've seen a few other people do it but I'm going to take it to a whole nother level. Today I'm going to be making an edible life-size lollipop. As many of you guys know, I love candy. One of my favorite movies is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and so I thought, you know what? Why not make a candy that I can eat for a long time since I'm never going to get sick of it? So this can be a huge fail because obviously I've never done this before and I don't really belong in a kitchen, but I have Matt here to help me. <laughs> Are you excited? You know, I don't really have a sweet tooth, but I know you do, so I'm excited for you. Yeah, I love candy. If you want to make this at home, what you'll need is sugar, corn syrup, food coloring and flavoring, wax paper, and finally you'll need the stick for your lollipop. You can use these if you want a shorter stick to lollipop. Or you can use a broomstick if you want a larger one. So we're mostly going to use these ones, I'm pretty sure, because I want my lollipop as big as me. Let's go! The first thing we're going to do is combine all the ingredients into a pot on the stove and mix it together. If you want the exact measurements and ratios, I will put that in the description below. Alright, I'm doing corn syrup and Matt is doing the water. Matt's adding the sugar. The majority of this mixture is sugar, just so you know. How do I like it? What? Mmm, it's really good. We should have a sucker party and just get like a bunch of people to lick different parts of the lollipop. It sounds so gross. I'm gonna make all my friends try the lollipop. Oh my god, oh my god. What the heck? Oh my god, do not use a plastic spoon. <laughs> when you were doing this. Now that we turned it off and it's not out of oil, we're gonna add the flavoring, which is cherry. That's the flavor that we picked and some food coloring to make it red. So they never really gave an exact amount of food coloring, so I'm just gonna use all of it. Okay, since I'm a fake blonde, I used all the red in here, but then I just realized we have another bowl of stuff, and so I'm gonna use pink for that one, and hopefully it still is kind of reddish, but it's gonna be more of like a red pink now. So next we're adding the cherry. Again, they didn't specify how much to put in, and this is gonna be a really big sucker, so I'm not really sure how much, but I think maybe like half the bottle? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a little more. Now that we have let it cool, we're gonna take it over to the container, which is our lollipop mold, which is gonna give us our lollipop shape. I hope it works. I don't really know. We're doing it. We're doing this. We're about to pour the liquid in, but we have the container and we needed to put the stick in. So Matt drilled a hole and now he's putting the broomstick <laughs> part through it. So we have the lollipop stick, it's in the container, and now we just add the liquid and let it dry and Hopefully we'll have a lollipop. Okay, so we have it all poured in and now we just have to sit and wait for it to harden so that it forms into the shape of a lollipop. I hope it doesn't suck. <laughs> So a few things happened yesterday after we tried to make our lollipop. We let it sit for about, what, eight hours? And it never hardened. So around 11 p.m. we decided to redo it because we were like, oh my gosh, like this is not gonna work. Obviously we did something wrong. So we ended up staying up till 1 a.m. trying to make the lollipop work. It's 11.48, still doing the sucker. This is the final pop, you guys. I hate this thing so much. <laughs> so at 1 a.m. we let it sit overnight and we were really pumped and excited because we thought we finally got it. And I woke up today and I ran out to see if it had hardened with high hopes and it was a liquid. The only thing that became a lollipop was the top of our stove and now it's stuck there. I can't get it off. <laughs> we don't end it right here. We're not going to end the video. So no. Rebecca decided that she's going to dump it on her head. Because this is my fault that it's a fail. I'm not sure why we did all the measurements, but it's actually kind of like gooey hard. So it might actually hurt. All right, you guys, come watch me dump this lollipop on my head. Ta-da! Our life size <laughs> lollipop. All right, put it on me and just do it. Lollipop, lollipop. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so sticky. Okay, okay. This is the rest of it. It's so slow. <laughs> it's a chunk. Oh my gosh, it's so sticky. Oh my gosh. All right, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, hopefully, guys, you feel bad for me. I'm sorry the lollipop failed, but I gotta go wash my hair because I'm pretty sure it's gonna harden and be ruined, and I can't move my feet because they're stuck to the cement. Love you guys. Just Mwah. like.